hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl jennifer so in today's video we are going to be doing this video so quick and and really fast i wrote some things down how to know that you are the side chick and i really want to share it with you guys like so many people don't know that they are the side chick like babe <laughs> you need to know that you are, you are you are the side chick with these five signs five tips that i'm going to share with you guys you will definitely know that you are a side chick and stop killing yourself over a guy killing yourself over a guy so tips number one on how to know that you are the side chick it doesn't take you out on date like babe come on whenever you talk about dates like he don't want you to go out with him he doesn't want you to eat with him in an open place like he always have something to say babe you are the side chick even when he take you out like you guys always go to one particular spot like that's your favorite spot can't take you to to anywhere like the um, cinema to watch the movies something like that he cannot take you to anywhere that he knows that people have much he always take you to a place that you guys have been going to like if you're dating him for like three years that is the particular spot he's always taking you to babe you are the side chick carry your bag and move you are the side chick because a responsible and a good guy we it, it cannot be repeating 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 like it's fun you guys need to try other things so when he does that you are the side chick tips number two how to know that you are the side chick you have never you have never you have never met with his friends whenever you bring out this issue of babe when am i meeting your friends are your friends not coming over so that i can cook for them do something for them you will hear like no my friends they are not good people they are they will just take you away from me they are talkative they are this they are that babe you are the side chick you are the side chick because no guy you cannot tell me that you're dating a guy, you don't know his friends, like who does that? Oh, you don't know his friends, his family, nobody. You are just with him all alone, meeting in a secret place, like babe, you are the side chick. You are definitely the side chick. Don't come for me, babe. You are the side chick. Tip number three. You have never met with his family. When it's time to meet his family, <laughs> my mother doesn't want me to date from your tribe. So I'm trying to convince her that you're a good person. Or you hear something like, um, you know I'm working, even if it's not working, you know I'm working to go to my village now. <laughs> even when the mother is coming, baby, you have to go. Like, I'm traveling, I'm going to Abuja, I'm going to this. And you know vividly that the mother is coming, but he doesn't want you to meet with the mother because <laughs> you are the side chick. He doesn't want you to meet with his father, brother, or sisters. Like, babe, you are the side chick. You are definitely the side chick. Why is it that whenever his mother is coming or any of his relatives, there must be something, he must have something to say. He must have something to say, like, excuse when he knows that the mother is coming by 9 a.m. in the morning he will wake you up by 5 a.m. babe I gotta drop you in your house or I gotta drop you in the park like what for who does that anyway even if the mother does not even like the tribe like she she's not familiar with the tribe or whatever that doesn't mean he has to throw you out by 5 a.m. in the morning these things happen like lot and lot and lot of thieves you guys need to know so that you can differentiate yourself and stop deceiving yourself tip number four he always has his phone on him he has never given you his phone <laughs> to even call your mother or to call your friend or okay for instance now you misplace your phone inside the house and babe can i have your phone so that i can Die my number. You hear things like, oh no, <laughs> let me have to die the number. It will be the one to die your number. Like, it's so, it's so secretive with that phone. Even if the phone is ringing, 
it doesn't want you to pick the call like or to check and most people most guys are fond of this you know maybe for instance this is the phone you guys are together he will always do it he will cover it like turn the phone like this why maka why 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 is he always turning the phone like this whenever he's with you even when you guys are outside he will then when the phone is ringing he will just do it like this oh my sister is calling me he is that is not his sister that is the main chick the main chick is calling him not his sister because i see no reason why a guy should do his phone do his phone like this like what's this supposed to be like this so what's this so people will say um eh, normal that is how most guys do it like <laughs> i don't understand come and tell me more most guys cover their phone it's only a cheater that does that yes because he really want to know who is calling because if the phone is up when the phone is ringing you can as well know to know who is calling so whenever his phone is always with him Babe, you are the side chick because he doesn't want you to know who is calling, who is testing or whatsoever. And whenever he's receiving a call, always going down or running somewhere. Or, you know, when the phone is ringing, he doesn't want to pick the call when you are there. Like, babe, you are the side chick. You are the side chick. Tips number five. He he always want to go to your place like when you guys are meeting you just call him baby can I can I come over for the weekend no babe my friends are actually coming I don't want them to meet you I don't you know all those different type of lies can't we meet in your place like in your place let's just meet your place baby you have a house let's stay in your house let's be in your house what do you mean must you come over to my place? I'm just chilling in your house now. Okay, baby. Come. Even when it, even when it's around, there is no way you will spend the night in your house. Because babe, you are the side chick. Oh, maybe he's working. Even if he's working. So what stops him from bringing his clothes to your house? Wearing his clothes or, you know, going to work from your house so what stop him from doing that baby you are the side chick don't let anybody deceive you you are the side chick because a real man like what I always tell people I see no reason why you should be why you should stop your girlfriend for from coming to your house or st st staying over what's that for if you are not the side chick he wouldn't do that he will always want to be around you even when it's weekend he will always want to be around he will always want you to spend the weekend with him what what is the word like you are spending the weekends with your friends when it's time for for out in clubbing you will hear something like no this club that I, i'm going to is only meant for guys strictly guys like he doesn't want you to come with him because you are the side chick my sister carry your bag your bag and baggages and flee one for your life because with all these tips I just dropped down here nobody is going to convince me that you are not the side chick you are definitely the side chick the side chick yeah five tips I have for you guys today you will definitely see me again on my next vlog or <laughs> I will see you you will see me. You are supposed to see me. You will see me again on my next vlog. So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to share the video. Share it to your friends so that so that we know what and what is going on in their relationship. See you all on my next vlog. Like, bye.